Okay, look, we're down inside um, the Roman baths, a bath, and it smells like old Romans. And, 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 you know, it's like old stone and watery stuff and things like that, and bits of temple and, and all that kind of other hockey. Um, but significantly, it absolutely honks of, uh, oh, it's really damp down here, there probably are rats and things like that. But anyway, look, so, so old Romans walked on these stones one time, many hundreds of thousands, not that long ago. Anyway, so yeah, so um, Roman baths, baths. Now we're going to go out to the actual baths bit in a second, where, where, the, where, the, where the big pond is. At least that's what I assume where we're going to. So here's another look at it. So this is down, down in the dungeons where, uh, where all Romans used to tramp around. Maybe there were some old tramps that used to tramp around as well. But look, so, so there's like a gutter where uh, old Roman water used to go. <laughs> old Roman water. <laughs> oh, look, 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 here we go. Look, and there's the head of Minerva. Bless. Lovely girl. Gilt bronze head from the cut statue of Sullus Minerva from the temple, found in Stall Street in 1727. That was just before half past five, just before tea time. So, there we are. Oh, we'll go back up these steps here. There's some steps there. So we're going to go back up and we're going to see more of inside of uh, what it was like in downtown Bath when they came to uh, wash their feeties and do whatever it is in their, uh, in their streets, wander around. So if you ever want to come down here and get the place to yourself, get here early and do your thing. Okay, we're going to wander off around this corner now. <laughs> Imagine having like an empty museum place to yourself. Well, look, 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 out there. There's water. There's actual spring baths. Okay, I'm getting close now. I can hear spring water. Can you hear water? Can you hear it? Do you know what it is yet? Oh no, we've got a guided tour. We don't want a guided tour. We just want to get down to where the water is. Oh, look, look, look. Give me water. I'm getting close. I'm really out there. This is so exciting. To the baths. To the baths. To the baths. That's the baths. Right. Automatic door. Whoa. Whoa. Here we are. At the baths. And uh, there's not a lot of people here today. There's a lady looking at me funny like I'm talking to myself. It's because I am. Look, that lady there. Right, okay. <laughs> but yes, so this is the baths. Right, okay. Can you tell me something interesting and exciting about the baths? Oh, it's five feet deep. It's five feet deep? Yeah. And it fills four times a day. It's over a million liters a day. A million liters a day. And where does, where does this million liters a day come from then? It comes from deep below. It rained down 10,000 years ago, and it goes two miles deep, and it gets pushed up because we're on the Mendip Hills, so it just comes up naturally in the spring. Oh, right. And does it work? Uh, well, like pe people going to, oh, or they, they used to go in? They used to up until the 70s, and then they figured out that green sunny water is not that good for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right, because we, we heard on one of these tours something to do with um, uh, some chap and pigs and mud, and... Um, is that, is that part of all of this? That's the myth or legend about King, king Bladud. Yeah. And he um, is a king that bathed in the muddy waters and he all right. leprosy and was healed. Yes, that's right. That's yeah. the story. All oh, right, right. <laughs> Him and his pigs and then he uh, and, then, and then the Romans came along and did all this? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. This is great. It's great to be here so early because there's nobody here. It's nice. And, the, and, the, and there's mist rolling across. I wonder if I can get that on. Is that mist? I wonder what that is. That green murky mist. Yes. Oh look, yeah. There's there's green murky mist rolling across the top there. That's quite cool. So it's definitely not healthy then nowadays. Not healthy, and it's lined with 45 sheets of lead. 45 sheets of lead. Is that to protect it from the rays from outer space from aliens? Uh, oh. Protected no. it from the cold ground. Oh right, right. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I would have gone with the aliens thing, but... Yes, oh, aliens. Aliens, yeah. 
Oh, look at that. That is really cool. That is a strange sight. And how many people normally get to be tourists and come through here on a day or, or on a week or something? Wow. Six thousand a day. Six thousand a day. That's a million a year. That's a lot. Well, well, I'm impressed, I have to say. Look, it's all swirling around now. Do you think I've, like, you know, messed around with the Roman gods now? They're kind of, like, getting a bit angry with me now. That's quite cool. Only five feet. It does make you want to jump in, though, doesn't it? It's very tempting. All right, where's that? Uh, straight ahead when you exit the museum. All right. Brilliant. Well, on that happy note, I think we've done enough about this now and, and stopped annoying this nice lady here because uh, there'll be other normal people coming along shortly, won't there? And I want to talk to you. That's cool. Well, thanks very much for that. That's really brilliant. That's yeah, excellent. Well, that's it. So, uh, phew. All from Bath Spa, I suppose. And, and we'll play with another video later on. We'll do some, we'll, you know, We'll get around and we'll do more things, but just check out over there. So, the, um, so we're like walking on stones and things that uh, Romans and people used to walk on. Right. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> right, okay, well, on that happy note, I definitely will go. Okay. By the way, just in case you missed out, we're actually at the Roman Baths and Bath. And